Hello my dear, in this tutorial we are going to learn about finding out COP of heat pump. COP of heat pump. We are denoting HP as heat pump. COP, what is COP? The full form COP is coefficient of performance. Okay, now we are going to draw a block diagram uh, of heat pump. Okay, so here is a diagram. Let's say this is a heat pump and we are having source and sinks both and the direction would be like this h1 h2 and then we have to give work input in case of heat pump let's say this is t2 and this is t1 so in case of heat pump the desired the desired effect is this that means we need to get uh, more uh, heat more temperature as compared to this one because this is desire in case of heat pump that's why we always say the cop will if he if you will see the formula of cop for any uh, any uh, system we can say that that must be desire effect upon work input so the heat pump the construction of heat pump and refrigerator both are almost same because the but the difference is that uh, the desire effect in case of heat pump is we require more heat more temperature but in case of refrigerator we required more not more temperature not even more heat we required less temperature less heat that's why i have already shared with you in case of the other taught well in which uh, we have shared the concept of refrigeration effect there i have shared with you the exact definition or how we can define how you can understand the basic concept of refrigeration refrigeration effect okay now here what is our desire effect desire effect if we will take in terms of heat then q1 by work input q1 by work input if we will take if we will take in terms of temperature then cop equal to t1 upon t1 minus t2 this would be the formula or for cop uh, in case of heat pump if we will see the, uh, the formula for heat pump. So to understand more about heat pump or more about this COP, let's calculate uh, and let's uh, solve a numerical problem. That's why you can understand more about this heat pump. So you have, uh, I mean this uh, uh, diagram and more other things about heat pump. So here we apply first law of thermodynamics in order to get equation. That equation is most important if you are preparing for competitive examination well so what is that equation let's say uh, understand the concept of first law of thermodynamics so what first law of state energy neither we created nor we destroyed however it can transform from one form to another form so as you can see this is also energy let's say this is in joule this is also in joule this is also in joule why i'm taking joule because the psi unit of heat is joule now so this is input this is input so q2 plus heat pump i mean work input is equal to w input means work input is equal to q1 so this is the equation we can easily i mean this is useful in numerical problems for solving numerical problems if we will need it okay suppose that we are having we have given q2 is 100 joule and work input work input is suppose that uh, 300 300 joule and we need to find out we need to find out cop of heat pump cop of heat pump if we have given ideal case case because uh, ideal case means there is no loss so we can apply this equation so what we have q2 is 100 joule and w is 300 so q1 is equal to 400 joule now what we got desire effect is 400 joule and the work input is 300 joule so answer would be 4 upon 3 so the answer i mean the cop of the heat pump would be 4 upon 3 for this case i hope you understand how we can solve numerical problems in case of heat pump well thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video